You are watching the Crypto Advanced channel and today we are taking a look at Bitbond. And we can see by the headline, tokens made easy. So before we get any further, we always have to do a disclaimer here that nothing in the video is financial advice. You should always do your own research and only invest or put money into things that you are willing to lose. So who is Bitbond? Bitbond is the leading technology provider for bank grade tokenization and digital assets technology. After conducting Europe's first security token offering that received approval by the German financial regulation BA Fin in 2019, they started to provide their own tokenization technology and expertise to banks and token creators. With their web free product token tool, customers can effortlessly create manage and distribute tokens and NFTs across leading EVM chains. And for sure, I would say this platform does make it easy. Create and manage tokens, automatic payments, and track your token portfolio effortlessly. Token Tool by Bitbond is the leading tokenization app. So in this app, we have a portfolio tracker. You can actually create crypto tokens on any of the major networks and test nets. You can distribute those tokens, do a token sale, lock tokens, and also create NFTs, manage NFTs, distribute them as well. And also you can create chain records. So the smart contracted are audited by Certic. Again, I'm sure we've said, well, we spoke about Certic a lot of times on the channel, one of the top auditing companies. Again, you can log in with any web free wallet, like sort of MetaMask, Ledger, Coinbase wallet. And we also have some more here, Trust Wallet, Crypto.com, Wallet Connect, and some others. So you can tokenize on the leading EVM change, which are Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, BNB, Phantom, Arbitum, Optimism, and also any of their respective test nets. And in this video, we're going to go through, make a token, show how all of that works. I'm going to be using the Polygon Mumbai test net for that one. But again, you can use any network you'd like. So here, focus on tokenization use cases instead of coding. So again, it takes quite a lot of effort and skill or slash knowledge and time to actually hard code your own token. And this is where Bitbond comes in handy and makes all of that process super easy. So Token Tool is a leading token generator and a lifecycle life cycle manager. Use the convenient user interface or the API for automation. That's for the enterprise ones. No credit card subscription required. Pay only for what you use from your wallet. Effortlessly create, manage, track ERC20, ERC1400, and ERC721 tokens. Rely on our audited smart contracts instead of coding your own. And get in touch if you need our back grade enterprise version of token tool. So we can see tokenized bonds and stocks, automate payments, run a token crowd sale, tokenize illiquid assets. You can do an NFT drop tokenized tickets and certifications, use NFTs as digital gifts or loyalty points and create digital twins. So a lot of things you can use Bitbond for. Of course, join their community. If you do subscribe to their newsletter, you get a 10% discount on token tool. We will take a look at the pricing for this shortly. And of course, all of their socials, make sure to check them out. Telegram, Twitter, Discord, etc. You can contact them and what other people say about token tool. For us as a bank, it's important to work with new propositions and our clients with new technology. Using Bitbond's product, we're able to provide our customers with secure and innovative services. So that is in a bank. We can see art collectibles and other real assets can be a great addition to any diverse portfolio. We used token tool in combination with our bank grade custody to tokenize valuable assets for our private clients. So of course, you start by creating a token or an NFT here. So Bitbond built by true tokenization experts. Token Tool is a product of Bitbond from Berlin, Germany. We are a true tokenization enthusiasts and experts in the field. Some of our largest banks and financial institutions as well as SME use our products to tokenize financial assets, create NFTs and automate payment settlement. So very good stuff here. If we actually take a look at the pricing, we can see it's free for anybody using the test nets, which is very nice. So you can try out the whole platform for free. And if you are looking to use it, it is pay per use, which is nice. So you don't have to pay up front or anything. You just simply pay for what you use in the protocol. All of the details again are on the website, which is linked down below. 
So I do actually have a 10% discount code down below for any of the plans. So make sure to use that one if you are signing up to Bitbond because again, you get a free 10% discount. Why would you not want to use that? But now we'll take a look at the portfolio tracker and then go into making a token. So to track a portfolio, again, this is my random um, wallet. So not too much here, but for example, you can actually search a um, address. So if we actually try and look up a Vitalik's portfolio, we can actually see here on Ethereum what he is holding. So we have his Ethereum, USDC, etc. You can also look at NFTs. So for example, well, there's a lot of NFTs here, but we can see one of the crypto doges. It gives you the contract information, token ID, and you can instantly view it on a marketplace so that would take us straight to OpenSea, which is very nice. And of course, with a MetaMask, it will show you all tokens on a different chain. So my wallet, we can see BNB, AVAX, Ethereum, some Phantom in there. And I don't, I've got one little NFT, but not really too much in this account, but very handy token tracker for the portfolio. Again, this is completely free. The create tokens. So here I'm going to be using the Mumbai testnet for Polygon, but you can use any um, network and it's the same sort of process. So we can see uh, simple, fast and convenient token generator. No smart contract programming required. Get 100% ownership of generated tokens. Set custom token name, symbol and supply. Sign and uh, create your own wallet. So we're going to call our token advance for the crypto advance channel. And for the symbol, we'll do ADV for advance. So we'll set a supply of, we'll go for 100 million tokens. And decimals, we'll go to 10 decimals. So again, all of this can be specified. You can also set up some token configuration. So we'll have can burn, which makes it, of course, that we can burn tokens after the initial creation. Minting, it depends if you want to be able to mint more tokens further down the line. Can pause means whether your tokens can be halted or resumed when needed. Can blacklist means, of course, you can blacklist specific addresses. So there's some token security uh, configuration here. So has document will be a reference documentation for the underlying assets. So if you have that, you can put that in. Re uh, max number of tokens per address. So you can set a maximum of each token that people can hold. Can be forced transferred, uh, regulates the permissions of the tokens. And you can also make it so people can only actually get the tokens if they are whitelisted. So we'll go ahead with this, our token advance ADV, create token. Again, this is on the test net, so that's why I'm using it. So we will deploy this. Again, it is Polygon, but you can do it on Ethereum, Binance, Avalanche, Phantom, Arbitum, any of those chains. And that literally is it to create a token. It's really, really simple. If you'd wanted to do this normally, you would, of course, have had to code your smart contract, deploy it to the blockchain, which takes more time and is, well, you need the knowledge for that. So we can see our token has been successfully created. And if we actually view the link, we can see the address and we should see the token address here. We can also add that to MetaMask if we want to actually add our token. So ADV, we can see the balance of the token there. Now, if we go to manage token, we can see ADV. If we continue this, we can, of course, create a liquidity pool, mint or burn some, burn some tokens, change the token ownership or renounce ownership and a lot more settings. So here we can see, for example, if I'd like to mint some more tokens, I can mint them to a recipient address. I could, of course, go ahead and burn some of the supply. So we can see we have 100 million supply. I could go in here and burn half of the supply if I'd like to. You can, of course, change ownership, change owner, renounce ownership, blacklist an address and add some liquidity to a DEX. Next up, distribute token. So in here, it is a pretty much a token multi-sender. So you can send tokens. For example, if you're airdropping them, you can send them to multiple wallets at one time, which is really nice or manually do this. So again, we'll select our token. And here you can upload a CSV, Excel or TXT file, or just manually paste in wallet addresses, for example, and airdrop tokens to those addresses. But of course, once you've made your token, or if you have a token, you might want to do a pre-sale, for example. So here, create a token sale. This can be your STO, IDO, or ICO token sale. You can create a pre-sale in minutes, proven solidity crowd sale contract, run an IDO initial coin, uh, ICO initial coin offering, or run a security token offering ITO, and create an IDO token pre-sale. So if we go for our token here, ADV, it will paste in the contract address. So now, 
payment type. Of course, this is how people would pay for your token. So we'll go for Matic. And for example, we could go for 0.1 Matic or 10 ADV, for example. Next up, we can set a soft cap or a hard cap. So we could say, for example, we'll have a soft cap at 10,000 Matic and a hard cap at 100,000 Matic, which would mean the number of tokens on sale would work out to 1 million. Then, of course, you can set investor limits. So we can say the minimum investment is 10 Matic and we can add a max or say maybe the max is 50,000 Matic here. Then, of course, you put a start date. So we could go tomorrow at uh, pick a time. 12 of 5. Token sale duration. We could put three days. Next up is token lock duration. So after your sale ends, token claiming would be locked for this amount of days. Or you can set for zero for no token lock. So we could say we'll put a seven day lock on tokens after the pre sale before you can actually use them. Then you can set an investor whitelist. So if you wanted to do a whitelist before your pre sale, you can put only whitelisted addresses can invest. And then, of course, token sell owner, which would be my wallet there. So you can double check everything, create a token sale. Again, this deploys to the blockchain. No code needed on your front, which, again, is pretty crazy how simple this is. To be honest, somebody who doesn't even have experience in blockchain could definitely create a token using Bitbond, which I think is really really useful tool so we can see our token sale has been successfully created so now if we manage our token sale here we should be able to see the page we can see here token sale input so if we go to the sale link this would be your sale page so the sale starts in 18 hours we can see a hundred thousand matic is remaining with the price of course you cannot invest unless your address is whitelisted so you would, of course, need to add specific addresses to the whitelist for them to be able to invest. And yeah, really, we get the token information at the bottom. A nice little progress bar so you can see the percentage of the pre-sale that has gone through already, which is really nice. But now we'll take a look at some of the other features. So next up, you could do a token locker, which could lock tokens from being moved for a specific period. This would, of course, allow you to lock the liquidity pool or founder tokens to show commitments. Because a lot of projects, people won't really invest unless the founder's tokens are locked. Because, of course, that would mean there's a chance that somebody could rag a project, which you would not want. So people like to lock tokens, which will create confidence with investors. And, of course, you can share that publicly via an accessible web page. So we could go to our token here, Advance, and actually go ahead and lock some of our tokens. So we can see token can be locked, token found. If I lock that... We can see I first I create a locker. After tokens are locked, nobody can transfer them until the unlock time is reached. So we have our supply creating a locker here, which again is public link onto the blockchain. This, of course, is the Mumbai testnet, but it would be the exact same process if you're using Ethereum, etc. And then we can specify our token lock. So I could lock here um, 500,000 tokens and say they are locked for one whole year. And if I approve that, first, of course, you need to approve the spending cap of my tokens because, of course, I have 100 million of ADV and I can lock this for one year, which is publicly shown on the blockchain, allowing people to kind of have some faith and more commitment into my project. Now that has been approved, we, of course, will do the lock uh, transaction. So confirming that one again. And those tokens or 500,000 of the ADV would now be locked for one year. So that has been just confirmed by my MetaMask now. And we can see why you have successfully locked the tokens. And you, of course, can share this if you'd want to. So we get a nice share page, 0.5% locked. Here we can see the date, unlock date, all of that. Next up, of course, Bitbond allows you to create NFTs. It's pretty much the same sort of similar process as making a token. You give it a name, symbol, start times, etc. NFT lint. So that's for a whole collection. And you can, of course, mint single assets. So you can upload your media, symbol, descriptions. And then, of course, you can manage the NFTs, distribute them. Same sort of thing. Next up, a chain record is to do a on-chain message, which is really nice. And, of course, we have a feature at the bottom to show the gas price on networks, which is real time. Shows fast, normal, and slow latest gas prices in USD and Jui. And of course, we can see on Ethereum, Avalanche, all of the above. 
So that is Bitbond. Again, it's free to use on the test net. We do have the pay per what you use plans, which is really nice. So you can actually create a token for just a few hundred euros. Another thing, even if you don't want to create your own tokens, you can actually earn from a Bitbond through their affiliate program. So partner with Token Tool, earn 30% commission rate on their fees. You can get monthly payouts in ETH, Matic, AVAX, and BNB, and generated revenue from your content and users. So anybody can sign up for an affiliate. You don't even need to really use the platform. If you just people sign up for your link, you can earn through Bitbond, which is really nice. So you just registered, they'll refer your application, and then you'll get a personal affiliate code. You promote the tool. And of course, people will get a 10% discount for using your um, code, which is nice. And you can earn a 30% commission on that. But this has been Bitbond. Really cool. I advise you just to try out and make a token. Make your own meme coin. They've been hyping up recently. And you can do this, well, for free on the test net. And for example, if you wanted to deploy it properly, you can just by paying for what you are using. But yeah. Try to keep this one short. There are a load of tutorials and help links on how to create token pre-sales using the tool and a full on white paper pretty much showing everything there. But thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed this one and I'll see you in my next video.